What's going on guys? Today we are back and uh, you might have seen this white third gen around in a few videos. It's been around for about a month. Well, last night Mike picked up this beauty, almost completely mint third gen for only 400 bucks. So uh, we're going to take all the good off that and put it on that truck because this one is a much better truck. It's got manual tranny, it's got a 3 liter, that one's a 22 RV, so there's, there's one downside. But this one seems to run strong, and that 22RE, it's kind of got a rough idle, and I don't know, a couple of minor problems. So, uh, yeah, let's move everything over and make one great truck. Now, before we carry on much further, you're probably wondering, why are you taking apart this perfectly good 22RE single cab truck? Well, it's, it's not as good as you think it is. I'm going to make it look better in the videos than they actually are, but if you look... There's not much rocker panels left. This thing has actually got a body lift, but not a normal body lift. A hockey puck body lift. Not only that, that has broken these cab mounts on the front, and when you're driving it, all you can hear is the creaking of all of the body mounts. Seriously, it's this truck was bad. Not only that, the power steering made all sorts of weird noises, even with a new power steering pump. The trail gear bumper that was on this thing was mostly welded on, as you can see. We had to grind off almost <laughs> the whole thing because the bolts are actually broken that held this bumper on. While Mike was driving, the hood actually came open on this thing and tweaked it, which is why it had tuck tape holding it down for the last bit of its life. This truck has a different color rad support to firewall to this fender is a different color than this inner fender so we're pretty sure this thing's been in an accident of some sort before and check out the driver's side door this gap this whole door flexes there's just so many little problems with this thing it made so much more sense to move all the good from this over to the other chassis and as you can see the 400 dollar truck clearly did not come with a bed so that's got to come off this white truck as well So one of the problems with this blue truck is the fuel tank was very, very rotty and the fuel pump bracket and the fuel pump itself. That truck's actually got a brand new fuel tank. So uh, we're swapping that over and then the bed will go over. In the meantime, I'm sanding down the frame, getting it ready for a layer pour 15 before all that comes on. All right, it is a new day and we're getting ready to put the flat deck on the new blue truck here. As you can see, we got the frame all pour 15. It looks nice. The gas tank is moved over. It runs, it drives. So the mounts on this frame are actually slightly different. So we cut off all these mounts off of the old flat deck and we're gonna put the flat deck on here and then weld them back on in place. And the deck is on. Man, the deck looks so much better on this truck compared to this truck. This one just looks like junk now. But uh, yeah, check this out. Now it's time to fill the trail gear bumper on it and uh, yeah, go for a spin. Okay, so Michael's been driving around this new truck for about a week now. Uh, let's ask him what he thinks about it. I like it. More more leg space. We got a back seat now for the cooler. Don't got to strap down to the flat deck. Uh, got a V6. Got more power now. It uh, muffler was intact when we drove it here with no box, but uh, doing all the work to it, we realized that the muffler has fallen off on the bottom, right uh, below the white. So it's another thing got to fix and tire clearance. These things have a lot of rub to them. 33s, 12 and a half wide. Yeah, so that's another one of the things we got to fix on it. Other than that, I like it. It's got way more jam, lower gears, 4 foot 6 gearing. I like it. And leg space. I'm 6 foot 4. 
and that thing over there had not a lot of room in it. <laughs> what do you miss about the other truck? Anything? Uh, I miss how short it was. It was good to get into like uh, small areas that uh, guys with bigger cabs can get to or whatever. All right, you heard it from him first. That truck is overall a better truck. He didn't comment on how it's rust free <laughs> compared to the other truck, rust but free. but it is. It's in a lot better shape. It's got about twice the kilometers if we trust the other truck, and I don't think we do. As you can tell, Mike loves that truck way more than the other one. It's got a ton of benefits. And uh, yeah, anyways guys, if you like this stuff, please remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.